Okay, so now we should do the testing. Testing, eh? Hey, teacher Kero, you the line tell you the line. You the IG tell you the line. What can I you accept me? Kero, I have a go live with you, but you have not come here. I wrote here, I'm just waiting for Kero. And my life that I go can learn to line the one thing. Okay, I'll try again. IG, I will always think now. IG. Hello. Yeah. Okay. 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 Testing. Uh, teacher, Sammy, give us a sign. Do we have echo? Hmm. Test one two. Audio test. test one two three. Testing one two two. Test test. <laughs> Okay, ma. You echo, ma. Okay. Testing mm. one two. Audio test test test. Audio test one two. Right. Hmm. Okay. Oh, hi hi Tiffany. <laughs> Tiffany will have a uh, live at one o'clock. Yeah. <laughs> hi. You may Tiffany. join us. <clears throat> Did you hear Rose friend? Okay, can teacher yeah, send YouTube me? Okay. YouTube mm -hmm. okay, everything okay. Mm -hmm. Should we come back or we should start? We should come back or we should. Or we should stay until uh, one o'clock. <laughs> Sorry. Mm, then you put in the box. Please put all your crap and the mermaid back to the box. Mm. Okay, both good. Can leave and come back after five minutes. Okay, so we we stay, we stop the IG, we stay on Zoom. Am I right? Yep. We leave IG, we stay on Zoom. Mm. Okay. We'll be back in five okay, minutes. Everybody, we'll be back, we'll be back in the five minutes. Bye. All right. <coughs> okay, I'll we'll open the we'll Zoom. The sound. Okay, I'll we'll open the Zoom. Okay, everything good, right? So, Teacher Kero, we speak English, right? 因为这些 information 讲华语我不会有。凯罗听到我声音吗？凯罗，凯罗，呃 ，unmute。
你的 laptop 听到吗 ，Carol？ 啊 ，Hello， 呀、yeah, ，OK OK， 啊，但是我是问你一个问题，是我讲我们讲英文比较好。啊，对，我们讲英文。啊、uh, ，Because、嗯、the information is all in English 啊。Yes, yes. So 我不会 translate。<笑>我我怀疑那些 former 的词尾不是很厉害。对啊，华语我不是很不是很 professional， 要给回黄老师跟 Ashley 他们。<笑><笑>是是。还有 Teacher Sammy 的华语也不错，很好。嗯。OK， 呃、uh, ，So 我们这边就呃， uh, 如果可以的话，我们就准时 start 啦。我们就准时 ，and 因为一点半，其实我们有 meeting with teacher Elaine， 嗯嗯，呃、uh, ，to support 他的 SOP 去见家长，嗯嗯 ，OK OK， so K 罗，你这边还有什么东西要问我吗 ？Anything else 你要呃，你要 clarify 吗？你跟汪 OK 吗？今天的 communication 有开始 communicate 吗？没有 communicate 到，因为。我们每个人你刚刚听你 radio orchestra 是吗？是是是，我一他打给我，我是到一半录到一半这样子，啊、然后录完我就来这里了。嗯，对，你可以给汪知道、啊，呃，他如果有什么问题的话，叫他跟你自己联络咯。可是 if 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 nothing no question me she can handle。嗯 ，OK， 等下我是会要 arrange 那个 meeting minutes 哦，等我一 send out。OK， optimization 有什么 question 吗？你，其实 Sammy， 你可以做东西了的哈。我们自己底下 go live， 你就帮我们 double check 我们的 audio 吧了。呃，你讲，呃，其实 Sammy 有没有什么啊？说、so、anything can text， 哦、oh, ，他都已经走了了。啊啊，对对 ，OK， 对啊。所以的确忘了 part， 我是要帮他 present 哦，在 meeting 的时候，对吗？啊，对对对，嗯嗯，就是你今天要 PM， 你今天记得要有一个时间跟汪有一个 short update to each other， 可以 ，just to make sure that 你们大概知道你们的 optimization 有什么的 strategy， 因为你们是 present strategy 罢了嘛，你们你们是呃，的确汪他没有将将快 settle 完他的 document 的，他 document 需要时间，我觉得 at least tomorrow and next Monday， 嗯嗯嗯 ，but optimization 的 strategy 一定要 present 先。所、so, 以你的 optimization 里面有几个 area 的 team cost teacher Elaine 咯、哦、，teacher Elaine 要去 present 要要要 submit， <coughs> 他们是全部人都要 submit 他们的 optimization strategy 的 point 给你，所、so, 以你可以代表他们 present 的。如果你不明白，你就要安排 teacher May 跟你分担咯、哦，你可以问你的 teacher May 他们可不可以分担 support presentation。But teacher May 自己本身已经有他的 HR 的 benefit optimization， 他会 touch 到他的 HR benefit。嗯。Teacher Sammy 他就是 optimization on 他的 operation。嗯 ，Teacher Sammy 会在里面的嘛，对不对？啊 ，Sammy 自己 present 哦。可是你要 remind 今天你今天你是要有一个责任去 remind 全部人准备他们的 point。你最好就是用 email， 我觉得啦。Oh, uh, uh, 对对，你用 email 来 remind 他们 optimization 的 strategy 的 point， 他们要 submit 给你今天几点 ？For example， 你写六点之前，这样你就收到，你就 compile tomorrow， 你就 compile 进去那个呃、uh, management meeting。明天是星期四了，明天是星期四，明天我们会有这个 optimization meeting， which is teacher May 他已经 withdraw 他的呃、uh, annual leave。他明天没有 on leave 了 ，Teacher May。哦哦。啊 ，Teacher May， 他明天有他的那个 important task 要 complete 的是 working hour。She needs to calculate working hour on behalf of Joey。嗯嗯。OK， 可以。嗯。所以大概你知道了咯，有三、有四、有五个啊，五个东西你要 cover 啊。我们有五个 leader 嘛 ，Teacher May cover HR 的，对吗？嗯。HR 的 benefit。还有他的 optimization on 他的所有的一切的 upcoming 的 decision changes。嗯。Teacher Sammy 他是 cover operation 的。Teacher Sammy 应该有 partner，、嗯、他 partner 是 Michelle。So Teacher Sammy 要去 make sure Radio K 也是有 optimization。
Rachel Care， 我们要怎样 ensure 我们的一些的，呃、uh, ，what are the optimization need to be change？ what what are the optimization strategy need to be <coughs> propose？ Okay， okay， learn team cost。Thinking cost. Teacher Wong is Rachel project based on the link Rachel Amelia. But the teacher Wong, teacher Wong's today, maybe not good. Ah, he doesn't have to do the whole document. He has to submit his proposal, his strategy. Okay. Then the teacher will give you point form or description. Point form with description or elaboration. Okay. Then the point form or description. Point form with description or elaboration. Because the teacher gave you the point form, you don't understand it. You need to have a description in the front. So once you compile everything, I think when tomorrow you one by one to present, or either they leave the leader to present, you just present all the strategy and teacher Wong's presentation. Okay. 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 Okay, let's start. Yeah, mute your sound. Hello. Hi. Hi, Teacher Carol. Hi, Teacher Mummy. Okay, let's let's see how. Hi. Wait for a few minutes to wait for parents and teachers. Hmm. Yeah. Okay, let's have an audio check again. Teacher Sammy, we are testing our audio. Uh, one more time. Hmm. Any echo? Hi, Teacher Christine. Hi, uh, Chen Si Mummy. Hi, oh, Chen Si Mummy. Hello. Hi. Thanks for joining us. Teacher Sammy, we are on live now. Can we have a check? Hmm. Of our audio. Okay, just to double check again. Everything yeah. is okay. Hello, Chen Si Mummy. Yes. Yes, Chen Si Mummy. Hello. Chen Si Mummy. Today, you have to take your child to travel? Hmm. Today, we have the. Oh, can't hear from my side. Um. Uh. Hello, Teacher Yilin. Can you hear us? Yeah. Hi, Teacher Yilin. Can you hear? Teacher Yilin, can you hear us? Teacher Yilin, can you hear us? Uh, Teacher Sammy, are you in IG? Mm. Um, we have to text. Teacher Hero, can you text? Teacher? Yeah. Okay. Never mind, it's okay. I can text. I have my phone with me. Mm. Okay. Teacher okay. Sammy can hear. Can, now can. Yeah. Oh, okay. Yeah, now okay. Yeah. Okay. Now can hear. All right. Okay, good. Um. Okay, so okay. All right, so shall we start now? Mm, yes. 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 Okay. Sure. All right. Uh, so good afternoon, everybody. All the teachers and also Sensei Mami is here with us today. Thanks for tuning in our live. All right. So um, today we have uh, Miss Yunis as our guest. Okay for um, yes. our IG live today. Thank, thanks for being yes. our guest today, Miss Eunice. So uh, today our topic is about anxiety and phobia in children. Mm. Yes. So uh, yeah, it's a, it's a good afternoon, uh, teacher Christine. 
right? So, uh, so today's topic is anxiety and phobia in children. So, can you tell us why you choose this topic and um, how um, uh, what is the, what is phobia and what is anxiety uh, in children? Mm. Okay, it's my pleasure to be with teachers again. And we are glad that we can spend a short period of time to uh, mm. have this discussion with parents and the teachers. So I believe on the floor, uh, we have parents. Maybe you can drop your questions. Today, our topic is uh, anxiety and phobia in children. So it's an interesting topic because I believe each one of us, we went through our past. We have our past experience. So let's have uh, the mommy, okay, Chen Si mommy, okay, we have Chen Si mommy here with us. Chen Si mommy can write down maybe three points that uh, to list down uh, what, remember what was your childhood experience, uh, phobia, okay, childhood phobia or childhood anxiety. So let's welcome teachers as well to jot down your point in the comment mm. box. So before I start to share the point, let, let us to have some of you to um, drop the yes. comment, okay, about your phobia and your um, anxiety. Mm. So for me, mm. let me explain phobia, okay. Phobia is about fear of fear. So let me, let me check it, let me, let me explain further about fear of fear. Okay, so mm. for example, if we talk about re relevant to us, phobia means you something might trigger your memories okay and then mm -hmm. no real danger okay no real danger you know there is no real danger but sometimes uh something a scenario on an object that trigger your anxiety that trigger your yes. yeah, phobia correct for mm -hmm. example chased by dog yeah teacher yilin, chased by dog. yeah teacher yilin said chased by dog experience during your childhood mm. okay yeah. childhood time so I remember I also experienced chased by monkey because of the Batu Cave, you know, Batu Cave, lots of monkeys. Yeah, yeah. A lot of monkeys. So, then. yes. Pig yeah. phobia. Yeah, did you say has pig phobia? What do you mean by pig phobia? Can you explain more about pig phobia? <laughs> <laughs> Until you now. Oh, your dad yeah. told you teacher should sting Long Kang in a drain when I was three years old. So you're, you're scared of long gang right now? Is it what she meant? <laughs> yeah, so you're being locked in the long gang mm -hmm. for, a, for a certain of time. So you're scared of mm -hmm. long gang, is it? Drain, okay. Yeah, drain. Oh, yeah, so we actually scared, uh, even Angel, I also asked her, okay, what is what do you what do you think you're scared of? Okay, what do you think you're scared mm. of? Then teacher Angel will say that like, thunder, thunder mm. or storm, then when she heard yeah. of thunder and storm, then she might she might just hide under the blankets, okay? So yes, mm. she can say I'm nervous when crossing yeah. over the, the drain, okay? The drain. Mm. So that's why you try to avoid. Fear of fear yeah. means that phobia, we try to avoid. We try to, we, we, are, we, are, we, are, we are always uh, imagine, imagining mm. about uh, something might happen. Yeah. For example, did you have yeah. Chen Si yeah. Mami? Chen si Mami. Mm. Cleanliness of public toilet. Toilet. Uh, bite by dog. Okay, bitten by wow. the dog when I'm 10 mm -hmm. years old. So, hi, did you Mia? Yes. So, Mia here. So, I think it's something that is very good to, to recall. At mm -hmm. the same time, it's, sometimes it's not easy to talk about overcoming. Overcome. Yeah. Because mm. if you want to overcome, I think sometimes we may not able to find out what are the strategies or treatment that can be done uh, mm -hmm. to force yourself to overcome. Like, um, um, okay, like yeah. about what do you call that? There's another one. If you go to the roller coaster. Uh-huh. Okay, what do you call that? Stage. No, 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 no. No, height. Height. Fear of height, height. Ah, fear of height. of height. Okay, if you walk yeah. on the, what do you call the bridge? What do you call canopy bridge, is it? Yeah, canopy walk. Yeah. Uh -huh. Canopy walk. Not everyone can can walk through the canopy walk because of the mm -hmm. fear of heights. Yeah. Okay, for example, another one is like maybe in the airplane. Okay, anyone you, when you are airplane, when you, when you are encountering a turbulence, Mm, so who is yeah turbulence yeah so what do you think about this 
what do you think about this? I, How's your plane experience? Uh, I've experienced some of the turbulence in plane before. Uh, I would imagine that um, the, there is a sort storm or uh, I, I, I will actually didn't happen. It's just a very small turbulence. But actually, I would imagine that um, okay, our plane will, <laughs> will fall down or something like that or something stuck in the fan, you know. Yeah, so so it'll be quite panic, but at the same time try to calm myself, lah. Yeah. <laughs> of course, it won't be screaming around. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, but we know but, that. Uh, sometimes we always hmm. imagine the worst. Yeah, when you encounter. Yeah, so we imagine the worst is like, oh, it's It's the last time that mm. we sit in this plane. <laughs> <laughs> we might encounter the so imagine a lot of yeah, uh, a lot of accident. what what if. Mm. Mm. Yeah, and then at the same time is to like if we are Christian, then we pray and then we start yeah. to go back to heaven soon. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Yes. There's okay. a, yeah, there's a lot of different phobia and uh and also actually there is there's one more is actually claustrophobic. We heard before mm-hmm. like you fear of the small spaces. Yeah. Hello, oh, we have Leong Fei. Yeah. Yeah, we have some yes, of my friends so, as well. Yes, Hello. Yeah, hello. As you mentioned that um, if we, for example, in the lift, right, you've mentioned, mm. so in the yeah. lift, there is a space, um, you feel like you can't breathe. I mean, this one, mm. you know, you get you get to know when you actually watch uh, movies and drama, mm. then you yeah. kind of sort of know of this. But uh, mm. also another one is about insects. Okay, let's ask the open to the floor. Okay, yeah. insects. Anybody phobia? Yeah, anybody has any phobia of uh, insects mm. and reptiles? Yes. Yes. Okay. Mm. Did you okay. let's let's share about your your phobia. Uh, insects. for me, my biggest fear is actually cockroach. <laughs> yeah. So uh, I'm I'm not scared of other insects like uh beetles or butterfly or ladybug or grasshopper. I'm still okay with them. It's just that um I have bad experiences with cockroaches la. Yeah, since very young, like maybe angel age, I already experienced yeah. the and uh like during bedtime story suddenly cockroaches just crawl inside my, you know, shirt or something. Mm-hmm. Yeah. So from from that time, from that point, <laughs> I I I've I have developed the, the fear of, of of cockroach. And I think um my fear of cockroaches can be a learned behavior as well. Mm-hmm. I yeah because my mom and my family some of my family members they actually scared of cockroaches as well so mm-hmm. I think from there and because my environment is um when 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 as a child I I, I was I was scared of all, all the cockroaches <laughs> but you know the people around you also not as calm at, like they are not calmer than you they are more and they they are more anxious <laughs> than you so uh you make things worse and you learn that oh you should be scared you should be um fear of the cockroach in that situation yeah but yeah. i found out that we cannot be um we cannot be running away from them because yeah. uh we have to overcome that uh to settle i'm not saying this i'm not i'm, I'm using a good word like to settle them like, okay so <laughs> you have to make sure that you have to stop them so i see, mm-hmm. see the, uh jacqueline uh jacqueline is saying that i scared all yeah. i scared of all of the insects oh, uh, me too uh, six legs, okay. <laughs> six legs. I'm, I'm, I'm. I can't, I can't. Uh, bear. Uh, okay, except the ends, lah. Ends is fine. Uh, but mm. uh, small furry animal like hamster furry animal. or rats. Okay. Yeah. Oh, but mm-hmm. are you sure the hamster? I, I like hamster and guinea pigs and bunnies. Mm-hmm. So that's why sometimes when we bring the children to out from the field out to field trip, we enjoy uh bringing the children to hands on with the chicks. Yeah, right. Petting. Chicks, petting. So I think I think Chen Si mommy have to let Chen Si explore la. I think Chen Si likes animals. <laughs> Maybe. <laughs> but for the six legs, definitely, yeah, not all mm, the parents accept. But because mm. of we are mothers, Mm-mm. we are mothers, we have to we have to always pretend to be the hero in front of our children. So as mm. you said, as you said, if yeah. you learn the learn behavior, it's okay. So we have mm. to make sure our children um I, I teach Angel to handle cockroach. Uh mm. I know I'm very scared, but in front of her yeah. I have to be like, 
you know, zhen ding zhen ding. Okay, come come come. Okay, what can we do? What can we do? I remember there was once in the in the in the toilet, public toilets. Angel and I, we were in the toilet, and then we were. We saw a tiny. Okay, it's it's small size is fine. Cockroach. I can't accept the yeah. big size as you mentioned just now. Pregnant or female cockroach. Yeah. Okay, <laughs> on the floor. Do you know what would yeah. happen if it's a pregnant and the pregnant and pregnant and female cockroach? What would happen when you meet them? <laughs> Let's ask the floor. <laughs> What will happen when you meet the female and the pregnant cockroach cockroaches? Yeah. Hmm. Okay. Let's have a guess. Okay. It's a science question. Okay. <laughs> so we come back later. We see anybody can answer or not. Okay. Then yeah. we, Angel and I we were talking about how to handle the cockroach. Then we were talking about okay. We use a tissue, and then mm. we use a tissue. We we lay the tissue on the cockroach, and then I teach her to use the leg to just step off. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, just to teach I her think. how to handle that. Um, mm -hmm. uh, I also, I also let her know that. Uh, how? Um, what are the germ? Uh, why cockroaches is is not bringing benefit to humans, like. So let her know about the germs and why cockroaches is uh, is is not um. It's not bringing advantage not hygienic to us. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it's not hygienic and okay. So that's how. Mm. Okay, why? Yeah. Okay, nobody can answer. Nobody know. <laughs> Teacher actually says she would scream. <laughs> okay, so Teacher Carol, maybe you explain to us why. Yeah. What, what will happen? Yeah. It's actually um. They were actually pregnant cockroaches or female cockroaches. They they will fly. Okay, they actually will fly and uh to protect their eggs. Yeah, so that's why they have to ha they they have the ability to fly. Yeah, so if you see a flying cockroach, it, it might be a female and or it is pregnant. <laughs> yeah. Mm, yes, okay. Yeah, yeah, so, yeah. very good. Okay, let's... Yeah, so... Mm, yeah, we can so, move on to uh, the next question. Yeah. yeah, we have more. The next question is, uh, so we have explored, we have known that what is phobia, what is fear, and uh, all the children fear like the uh, pests and insects and all that. How about... um? the fear of going to school, like school-related um, phobia and anxiety. Hmm. Yes, okay, this is a very good yeah. topic that we would like to discuss here. We, mm. we have a, a school, okay, in the school, we have a definition for school phobia and a school anxiety. Okay, mm. if it's for school phobia, we will, we will I, I put, let me, let me explain about school anxiety. Okay, if it's for children, I believe on the floor when you go to school, okay, when your first day go to school or your first day attending preschool, do you still remember the first day when you're attending preschool? Did you experience crying? Okay, how about when, this, Carol? Okay. Did you experience crying? Um, for me, I, I did not. <laughs> Personally, did not. Yes, yeah. very good. I guess, uh, Maybe I, I I was the first um, you know I'm I I am the first born, so I'm the jie you know like I go together with my sister. But I can mm. see that my sister is very anxious. Like she cries, she really miss my mom, uh, my mom, and um, yeah. So so I think personally for me, I I didn't I I, I was quite secure, and uh, I'm more mature than my sister. So when I see my sister, I. I didn't cry. I have the responsibility to actually take care of her. Yeah, yeah. during the first day of preschool. Okay, that's very good. Okay, but somehow we do have our children but, or either yeah. our ourselves. When you first mm. day attending school, you might experience um, um, you might experience um separation anxiety. Okay, yep. so our children might cry from the first day to within the first month. You, mm -hmm. you might encounter your children crying non-stop or either in, mm -hmm. the, in between the moment when you say goodbye, then your child might crying badly to get mm -hmm. your attention. So we call attention seeker as well. Okay, attention mm -hmm. seeking. So sometimes the cry and the whining can be defined as to see whether the child is crying for their wants or whether they're crying for their needs. Mm -hmm. So these are the skills that uh, upon the school uh, between the parents and teachers, we have to work closely so that the daddy mommy also emotionally will be calm, okay, will be calmed down by the teachers 
you develop the trust, mm. develop the trust between the teachers and parents. And the children, mm. when they come in, we have to make sure we let them to have um, different strategies and treatments. So later we will share mm. about the treatments. But let's talk about the anxiety. The anxiety yep. is about the emotional needs. So your children may not able to say goodbye to you or may not able to separate it from you. But mm. if it's school phobia, it's different. Mm. If it's school phobia means that maybe your child has been attending the school for a period of time and then your child might encounter bad experience. Okay, what are the bad experience? Okay, let's try and see. Uh, try and yeah. share about it. Okay, bad experience can be um, physical complaints. For example, you encounter bully cases. You encounter bully, uh, bully cases or either uh, verbal abuse, verbal abuse mm. by adults or the teachers, okay, or by friends, peers, mm. or maybe another one is the physical complaint and the temper tantrums, which is mm. you find out that the most, the environment is not giving you a sense of secure. Mm -hmm. Okay, another one is can be panic. Okay, panic. Yeah. Let's let's talk about panic. Okay. When you go to school, what are the situation or scenario can cause you panic? Mm. Okay, so let's ask the put floor. Put this again. question uh, put on the floor as well for our audience, teachers and uh, parents, mommy and daddy. We can also share that um, what are the fears? Uh, what are the um, what are the things that trigger you to panic? You okay, to have panic uh, from school. Yes. Right. So um for, okay. for for me personally, um I I would de develop a fear and panic when um as is when, when during my primary school is especially from teachers who are very strict. Yeah. <laughs> so yes. it's like uh, yeah, it's when, a very teachers, right? Yeah, and then, teachers. Yeah, and last time um uh, the rotan, uh, you, you know, like the cane, cane, they are still using cane during my era. Mm -hmm. <laughs> yeah, so um, it was very, can be quite scary. La. Yeah, it will mm. cause panic. Like, um, even though I finished my homework, but I will still have the fear that, um, okay, uh, if I do, what if I do wrong, you know, like what if my exam is not like, or uh, like all correct or something like that, then um, the cane and the teacher actually cause the panic and, and fear from school. Yeah. yeah. So I, I do recognize that disciplinary teachers could uh, mm. could be giving us a, 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 a impression of fear because we worry in a, in a Chinese school, I can say in a mm. Xiao. so we mm. have to be very disciplined. We have mm. to be all the time, make sure our uniform is neat and tidy. We have to make sure yeah. our shoes are white, okay? Not gray, mm. <laughs> not black. <laughs> <laughs> and then we have to make sure we are on time to be in the mm. classroom. When you go to the canteen, you must make sure you finish your meal within, within the time given. Mm. So there are lots of rules and regulations in the, in the Chinese school. Okay? And mm. I, I still remember, yes, you mentioned the cane. So mm. we worry that we are being punished. Okay? Or either we yeah. are being punished not by the cane, but physical. I can say mm -hmm. physical punishment like you have to uh, or mm -hmm. either you stand in front of the classroom. Uh, I can say emotional harassment, uh, mm -hmm. you embarrassment. You you when, when everybody stand on the table. Remember there was a game, I'm not sure whether you yeah. remember this. There was a game about table. everybody stand on the table. Yeah. Okay, now we play a game about Chen Fa Biao. And then the Chen Fa Biao part is about, okay, everybody answer a question. Then da, 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 da. If, the more, the, if you answer the question correctly, then you can step down from the table to the chair, then the chair to the floor. From the floor, you can sit and down. Can so sit every, down. Yeah. Yes, everybody has to answer four questions then. So mm. this is, these are the very, very good experience. Not, okay, I'm not, saying, uh, I'm not saying bad experience, but you will feel sense of achievement when you can accomplish but when you remain on the table for a period of time, when you mm. are the last one, yeah. Then you feel that you are That's the embarrassment and the uh, embarrassment. Yeah. Okay. Sense of guilty. Jade, so so I, I feel like this is something that is very uh very real um uh mm. something is real uh and happening in our life, 
And mm. I think that the low self-esteem, we do have another mm. uh, school phobia is about low self-esteem during our mm. primary school and uh, secondary school or either, either uh, um, uni life. So mm. for the students who are coming in into coming in with the low self-esteem, they may mm. not able to overcome the social um, engagement, social yes. interaction with the peers. And then the low self-esteem, they might be also having the fear of um, stepping out to do presentation. Mm. So because when you are in the high school and primary school, you may not able to have a lot of opportunities to be on the stage. Mm. Maybe in the end, maybe once a year, you are selected to be the singer, um, singing competition. You involve in the sharahan, you involve in the dance performance and competition. Or maybe during the Teacher's Day performance, uh, Teacher's Day celebration, then we uh, selected certain class of group yeah. who can present. So I still remember mm. many of us that we are trying our best to fight for the opportunity to be presented on the, to be presented on the stage. So, but when it comes to um, some of the people, some of the students, they may not able have enough opportunity to equip their self-esteem. So mm. when they come to a uh, high uni life, okay, I can say uni life or either now, even as young as preschool, if we don't mm. provide opportunity for our children to speak with the mic or speak mm. on the stage or do presentation on show and tell, okay, show and tell, that's how we prepare our children to, to develop the confident level. Mm. And you can speak to your children, you can speak to your teachers, regardless of making mistakes, it's fine. Mm. Okay, but low yeah. self-esteem is one of the school for mm. because you may not able to overcome. I remember when I was working as a lecturer in MCKL, mm -hmm. uh, there were a group of students, you, you may need to assess individual, okay? So mm. I was actually assessing the student and the student wasn't able to um, pro, um, perform herself, okay, confident level in speaking with a tone of voice, okay, the right tone of voice and then mm. eye contact. She, she didn't able to maintain her eye contact throughout the whole presentation. So mm. these are the, these are the skills that we're looking into. Presentation is required your confidence level, your language, okay, proficiency, proficiency and your skills of performing presentation, mm -hmm. the skill that you pre present yourself. And mm. your tone of voice cannot be monotone. You have to make sure you have your loud and soft and your body mm. language and your body gesture. So I found yeah. out that uh, school phobia is also, uh, we have to start from young to overcome. Mm. Mm. Start True. from young to overcome. So you have to mm. make sure baby mommy to support your children, try to stop them to, um, they have to be resilient to and whatever they encounter in the school is their, Mm. Their, depends on how they bounce back mm. depends on how their resiliency to provide them to bounce back and then they can continue to be tough enough to manage the problem mm. Mm. Yeah. so that's why the school phobia is different from school anxiety, anxiety. school anxiety is definitely always we can have the treatment okay last five minutes here so after the yeah. treatment mm. then we should yeah we uh, can talk about the treatment mm. yeah talk about treatment and then we can have our um, closure Okay, yeah. so the treatment is about, okay, regular attendance. Okay, the first point, regular attendance. Mm. So regular um, attendance. it's very important for us to have our children to attend school regularly. Mm. Because yes. if they did mommy, if you see that your children, uh, sometimes they might cry in the morning, they, they're cranky, and then they keep on saying, I don't want school, I don't like school, I don't want my friends, I don't want teachers. Mm. But when they say all these statements, Mommy have to define and make sure you analyze, okay? Don't jump into conclusion and saying that, yes, my child is encountering bully case in school. Mm. And my, I think the teachers are, uh, are trying to do something to my child. We do have mm. parents that always so quick, quick and fast to jump into conclusion. But mm. somehow we have to understand and remember, we then cannot jump into conclusion when your child said the statement. We have to make sure we assess by their frequency and then mm. also have to involve parent-teachers partnership. We have yes. to come back to the school, immediate respond, discuss with teachers, and mm. then the teachers can start the inve investigation mm. so that the school and the management can start to pay attention to your child and why. Mm. 
Okay, some remember yesterday topic about early to bed, early to rise. So yeah. early to bed, early to rise also can be involved, uh, can be one of the important criteria about ensure your child wake up without crankiness, wake up without mm. uh, making a big fast before going to school. So mm. uh, comeback is about parent teachers partnership and communication is the first priority that we have to set right in the beginning. Mm. And then second is about we always have the pet therapy available in Hansen and Gretel. Because mm. we always believe when your child comes to school and say goodbye, your child needs to have distraction. We just mm. need to provide right strategies of distraction. We have to distract your child by not saying telling telling lie that your your your, your daddy mommy are leaving you abandoning uh, 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 abandon abandon abandoned. you yeah abandon <laughs> yeah. you in the school. We're not going to say mm. such thing. We're going to say that yes. your mommy daddy to say goodbye to you, goodbye kiss to you, but they promise mm. to come back on time. So you will mm. be staying in the school for a short period of time. You have friends, you have a teachers, for those who are loving you, we will be here. So we have to provide mm. the sense of secure to our children. So that's mm. why the pet therapy is very good. We have our mm-hmm. Thomas. Thomas yeah, has been Thomas reversed. Is Thomas is a, mm. tur- is, a, is a turtle, is a tortoise, uh, has been reversed since uh, 2016. Wow. Mm. Okay, 2016, 2016, so yeah. 16, 17, 18, 19, <gasps> turning five. Okay. Yeah. So um uh we have um turning four, sorry, turning four, right? Turning four, I think turning four. Okay. Th- Thomas, the first day we 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 had Thomas, it was the 50 cent size. Mm. Mm. And now Thomas so the, the, is a size of a bun. I, I think, think. <laughs> it's a steam bow. I think <laughs> I think bigger, a little bit bigger than that. Yeah. I think it's a type uh, <laughs> yeah, so yeah, yeah. Teacher Lisa is now with our Thomas. Okay, teacher uh, mm. Thomas is under very good care by teacher Lisa now. And mm. we believe that after, after MCO, we have Thomas to be back with us. And our children, mm. majority of them, they like to say hello to Thomas in the morning and like to say goodbye to Thomas and like to feed Thomas. So we also mm. provide... Uh, opportunity for children to learn about pets caring and pets loving mm. um, yes. cultivate the attitude so I think mm. music therapy also very important because when you come mm. to the school the first thing is actually teachers when you cuddle the child then we can sing song we can let them know that these are the common song that you sing with your mom then we can mm. sing along with the children so we can sing like for example we can sing in spider so chipmunk children they like a spider so much I mean the song yeah. not the spider <laughs> <laughs> they like nursery rhymes a lot yeah, yeah yes so i think these mm. are the things that we can do is the treatment is always about partnership daddy mm. mommy have to make sure you do your part to ensure your children mm. with sufficient sleep and rest mm. and then prep your yes. child to come to school for everyday special project so after MCO, there will be everyday special project uh, attention given to parents that how can you prep your child to come back to school and also mm. we are tighten up to tighten up all the regulations, hygiene, uh, uh, social uh, distancing, everything. So teachers and now our teams are working on in uh, uh, optimizing all the all the policies so that the day mommy you will receive the information as soon as possible. So I mm. believe today is the day that we have this half an hour sharing about anxiety mm. and phobia. But before yeah. MCO ended, I believe before a day, we, will, we would like to invite all the parents to come back for one more topic is about how to handle separation anxiety. Because mm-hmm. after this two months MCO, I believe that all the children may not able to say goodbye to you. <laughs> may not able to yes, say goodbye yes. to you because in these two months, we are stick together like glue at home. 24 and hours I, at home. Yes, mm. even now, if I go up and down, and Joe also follow up and down. And then if I just say, uh, uh, I need to have this session, you play with daddy, okay? So we have to make sure we have a proper transition. Mm. We will provide you the proper transition and strategies to handle separation anxiety. And then mm. mommy, when you come back, then we hope that there will be a good transition. And mm. we believe that the children need time. They need more time. Mm-hmm. So they think mommy don't jump into conclusion and don't rush up the transition. We have to give yes. everybody some time to cope. After MCO, will not be the same anymore. But mm. there will be better 
there will be better, there will be better mm. policy, there will be better program, there will be better, uh, there will be all experienced teacher because during the MCO, teachers are doing a lot of research for every day's mm. topic, every day's project. So I believe the teachers are well equipped and preparing to be, um, to be the soldier and the army after MCO to fight against the COVID-19. Mm. Okay. Yes. So very good. Yes. Yeah. Agreed. Thanks. Did you yeah. Thanks Thank so you so much. Yeah. Thank you, Miss Eunice. We have learned a lot about um phobia and anxiety and especially about school anxiety and school phobia that uh, we have learned a lot and we and as a conclusion we know that parents and teachers uh, communication and partnership is very important that um will continue to help uh, your child and children to um overcome and also uh, to face the anxiety instead of avoiding yeah, yeah. Yes. Mm. Okay, very so, good. So thank yeah. you parents. I think it's a thank very you. good session. We don't want to mm. uh, have, uh, we don't want to be long-winded because I believe mm -hmm. uh, every day, the half an hour, we just want to have mm. a close uh, partnership with parents that uh, to share some of the topics and we can mm. start to, we, maybe the next next guest, we can invite Chen Si Mami to be our guest. I think Chen Si Mami can become one of the guests to share some of the topics you have to share some of the topics so I believe Jacqueline and Chen Si Mami, we will start to also explore more topics with you and then we will have advanced planning uh, that so that you can go on live with us in upcoming days. Okay, mm. thank you so much. Yep. So thank All you. Bye-bye. Right. So we'll see thank you again Jenny. tomorrow. Tomorrow we All will right. have Teacher Wong. Teacher Wong and Teacher Mia. Yeah. Okay, mm. they will share What's the topic? Okay. <laughs> uh, about travel, mm. is it? Like, ah, 对对对对对对对 Yeah. Role play. Okay. Mm, Teacher Mia, Teacher Wong, tomorrow they will share. We 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 will share. Okay, very good. Um, okay. We have done. Did you send me? Yep. Did you send me? You there? Ma, she needs to be the host to stop. You want to call me? Come in, ma. Ah. 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 Then I want to join their meeting. Ah. 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 Oh, I can end it, can I? I go to join teacher Yilin's meeting. Okay, that live one is to press the button, right? I can leave the link. You can leave the link. You can leave the link. I can leave the link. Okay, okay. Okay, bye.